15 years old on, I, I wanted to be a high school teacher and a basketball coach, and it, and it never felt stronger than when I had graduated from high school because I wanted to stay in that environment. I started coaching uh, high school basketball when I was 19, and, uh, and then did that through college and stuff, and so I've uh, been teaching in the classroom for 30 years. So this is the last three weeks of my 30-year career. Project here a little bit, and I'll let you, I'll let you get started on it. So basketball was always the dream, and then uh, once I started teaching at the, at the high school level when I came to Hamilton, I was the boys basketball coach here for four years, not go very well for a variety of reasons, and I thought the dream was over. The very next year, um, the cross country program was being cut, and our head coach was resigning, and so I volunteered to do it with my limited experience. And 20 years later, um, I was still around, and we had some success and got a lot of kids out. It was really, really a special opportunity for me. My retirement savings, health savings account, regular IRA, these are the things that... Well, I did cross country, and, and then when the girls' basketball position uh, came open again during my daughter Ashley's sophomore year, I applied and uh, did another four years with the girls' basketball program. I uh, reapplied, uh, which is kind of unusual to become the head coach three separate occasions, but that's what I did, and then was uh, the, the girls coach for seven years. And I don't mean that in a negative way towards the girls, he's just, he has a certain value. You know, a lot of times you think it's the wins and losses and things like that. There were some very special games, for sure. I mean, with I Jay Lee's team, we ended up winning the state championship in 2015 right here on our home floor. One of my favorite teams of all time came a few years later in 2017-18, and uh, we went 17 and one in conference and more importantly than that we just had so little drama okay, so, we're gonna take, now you get to so into kids from a leadership perspective and team building perspective those that have played for me will tell you that was my first love the biggest thing is is learning to lead yourself well instead of giving kids the tools to actually okay here's how you can get control of your daily schedule because your destiny is in your daily routine David, you could spend it you could get up to your house whatever you move that money around Whatever you want to do with it, but it has to be zero. Okay. I'm doing some speaking I've, and to school districts and other organizations based on my personal development and finance class, you know, because I've still got passion for that. Just uh, 2020, I had the opportunity to do a TED Talk, and uh, that was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I mean, it's basically 18 minute memorized speech right in front of people. You can't make a mistake. I had to put 100 hours into that preparing for that because I didn't want to fail. One major mistake, what do you think she did? She did it for a year. Nobody's gonna have a hundred grand left at the end of the month. But even when she put it back to that, what are you reading, watching, listening to? What are you what are you dreaming about? You know, what are your dreams and plans for the future? Um, who are you spending time with is probably the biggest one, right? Your associations. And what do you say to yourself? Thirsty. Students really need more of that now more than ever. Well it said she she loves him and then that must be the one. And that's not always the case. More of a, a dad figure in some ways. That's My job is to raise great adults and release them. Their, their teacher, somebody that wants to help them go from adolescence to adulthood. It's like that's our primary goal is to help them be successful in life. Yeah, exactly. I honestly believe every day is a gift. But you'll put that in here and that'll be, that'll be the amount that you take out of your gross income and then you have your net. Now why do I have... But I'm very reflective right now um, and I'm overwhelmed at times with gratitude. Uh, for, for this experience. I'm getting emotional right now. But it's been special. It's been really, really special. I'm really grateful for the, the, the connections with kids that I've had that I still, um, you know, I'm talking to 30 and 40 year olds now that were students of mine or players of mine that, um, that we still communicate off and on. And it's just, it's, it's really, really special. The process. It's got to live on in the hearts of my athletes and students and in myself too. It doesn't live in a, you know, pictures or trophies or things like that. So but I've got so many people, mentors, parents, friends, family, colleagues, and then students that have helped me uh, have a wonderful experience. I've just, this, this journey has been a gift.